Bonjour, je ne voulais plus me con connecter aujourd'hui, mais je viens de voir un témoignage, l'histoire de... Euh, une personne qui m'a tellement touchée. D'ailleurs, tu vois, tout mon maquillage est parti, j'ai pleuré. Euh, et euh, j'ai écouté, en fait, je pense, 1h40 de témoignages de femmes qui ont osé. Comment je vais dire Tu, tu devrais l'écouter toi-même. D'ailleurs, je vais nous faire écouter ces derniers témoignages qui j'étais totalement en pleurs. Peut-être tu vas l'être aussi. Je le partage ici parce que tant de femmes avec qui j'ai parlé ce dernier temps en des peurs, en des excuses qu'elles ne voient pas comme des excuses, en des blocages. Et ce que j'entends le plus souvent, c'est que je n'ai pas l'argent, je n'ai pas le temps, qui suis-je euh, Et euh, un tas d'autres arguments dans lesquels ces femmes croient dur comme fer. On dit « c'est pas maintenant, c'est trop tôt euh, », etc., etc. Et euh, c'est peut-être vrai, mais ce sont peut-être des peurs, des blocages et des excuses et ce n'est pas facile, ça je suis d'accord de savoir faire la part des choses parce que quand une peur est inconsciente, elle te bloque, elle te fiche, elle te vole ton énergie, elle te vole ton enthousiasme, elle te vole ton espoir, elle ne te donne pas de vision, les peurs, une peur c'est tellement, tellement, tellement puissant et je crois que la voix du cœur, la voix de cette, ce, ce, cette soif intérieure, elle est encore plus puissante. Et elle te fait faire des choses que tu as une peur bleue de faire, tu les fais quand même. Et les femmes ici qui ont partagé, et je vais partager mon écran pour partager ce que ces femmes ont dit, les femmes qui ont suivi leur cœur, euh, ça c'est inspirant, ça nourrit, en fait, en réalité, ça nourrit quelque chose, ça nourrit la force de notre cœur, ça ne nourrit pas nos peurs. Et je pense que c'est toujours, toujours, toujours ces voix-là dans la vie qu'il faut écouter. La voix qui va nourrir ton cœur. Pas celles qui font peur. Il y en a partout, 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 les voix qui font peur. Cela, tu ne dois pas les écouter. Pourquoi Parce qu'en fin de compte, ces peurs-là, ils vont toujours être là. Mais cette voix du cœur, c'est ce cœur qui a le courage et qui va dire « Boudron », Fais ce pas. J'ai fait une vidéo ce matin sur le premier pas qu'il faut faire. Et je me dis, bah, c'est bon, j'ai fait une vidéo par jour, je ne vais pas en parler. Mais j'ai regardé ça ce soir et j'ai envie de le partager. Pour que tu puisses entendre, c'est en anglais, je suis désolée. J'espère que tu, parles, tu comprends l'anglais. Que tu puisses entendre des femmes qui parlent de leur cœur et de, du courage qu'elles ont eu pour faire ce premier pas. Pour que tu puisses nourrir cette passion à l'intérieur. Et prendre ça comme cette soif, soif que ton cœur il a d'entendre des paroles comme ça pour, pour garder sa force, pour garder le courage. Et oui, peut-être c'est vrai, ce n'est que toi qui vas le savoir, que c'est le bon moment ou pas. Et puis, bien sûr, tu vas brancher ton cerveau pour aussi analyser la situation. Et ça, c'est une bonne chose. On ne veut personne sauter dans le vide. On veut que tu puisses avoir le courage pour ce premier pas, mais que pas que tu sois kamikaze, mais écoutez ces histoires. Et je ne vais te partager ici que la dernière histoire, mais je t'invite à aller sur la page de Sigrun et à écouter une heure et demie <rire> ce soir, toutes ces histoires. Et demain, avant de, 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 de partager simplement mon écran ici, demain, si tu peux, je t'invite à venir au Mastermind Marathon euh, où Sigrun va euh, donner des coachings un à un. Donc, si tu n'as jamais travaillé avec elle, c'est ton occasion, c'est ton occasion maintenant de pouvoir avoir un hot seat avec Sigrun. Ça va changer ta vie. Ça peut changer ta vie. Donc, profites-en. Profites-en. Ose faire ça. Et euh, oui, de quoi je parle ici Pour celles qui m'écoutent là, vont comprendre de quoi, enfin, ils savent de quoi je parle. Donc, je, je m'appelle Goudron, je suis professeur de danse et coach somato-spirituel. Et j'ai une business coach qui m'a qui permis de faire ce que je fais ici. Et j'ai enfin, rejoint Zomba, donc son école, si tu veux, son académie, il y a deux ans. Et euh, elle a, cette femme a changé ma vie et je ne suis pas la seule. Tu vas l'entendre tout de suite maintenant. Et je partage ici ce qu'elle fait pour le moment parce qu'elle a donné beaucoup de contenu gratuit, beaucoup de euh, webinaires où tu pouvais, que tu pouvais faire des 
des workshops et tout qu'on a fait ensemble aussi. Peut-être que tu as raté, ce n'est pas grave. Tu peux écouter ce que va dire cette personne ici qui a gagné un prix. Et euh, tu peux t'informer parce que si ce n'est pas maintenant, ce sera peut-être plus tard. C'est comme une graine qui est semée et je sais que c'est comme ça. Chez moi, c'était comme ça. La graine avait été semée un an plus tôt avant que je rejoigne cette euh, académie et je n'ai jamais regretté bien au contraire. Cette énergie qui se dégage de ce, ce que je vais partager ici avec toi, c'est cette énergie que je veux que tu puisses savourer. Tu ne trouves pas ça souvent dans la vie et ça, je te le souhaite. Savoure cela et peut-être tu vas pleurer comme moi. Je vais partager mon écran ici. On va aller là. Et on va activer la chose. And uh, some of them uh, were maybe not looking to win. Uh, they just wanted to share and we really appreciate that. <laughs> and you have heard from so many different people here today. Uh, this was only a little glimpse out of the 77 entries. Uh, and as I said before, of course, uh, everyone else had breakthroughs in Samba, uh, but you know, those who decided to share them with us so that you could be here live here today, I wanna thank you again. I wanna bring on a person who had a very personal breakthrough. And uh, she wrote us uh, uh, a story where uh, we felt really all in our heart. This was, what is the word in English? Not anonymous, unanimous, unanimous quote uh, from all of Team Sigrum that this woman uh, should be the winner of the breakthrough of the year. So I'm going to bring on a person. She is not, maybe not knowing that she's coming on, but she's coming on live right now. Uh, so I'm going to bring her on. Natalie, Natalie Christie, you are live with us as the winner of Breakthrough of the Year. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh gosh, oh my God. Well, you may so not cry, cry, so uh, it is only fair if you cry too now. <laughs> <laughs> Because we cried when we read your story. Um, I, I, I have to try to find words because I am so speechless. It, it's amazing. My internet just broke down and I can't. Yeah, well, that oh, tends to happen. <laughs> it tends to happen, internet breaks down when Yeah. Breakthroughs, and uh, I have no tears coming to my eyes. <laughs> um, oh my God, I'm shaking. Right. Yes. <laughs> Natalie, you oh. are. We're going to bring you to Iceland, and we're going to have a VIP ticket to South Mid Summit. If you already have a ticket, or flights will uh, refund that uh, for you because we want to have you come to Iceland. <laughs> I am, I am so thankful. I am so grateful. Um, the whole journey of Kickstart and Z Zumba so far has been the biggest present that I have, could have had, to be honest. And as I wrote in my message, it took me a few days to think about if I want to write about it, because if I wanted to write it, I really wanted to write it as detailed as possible, how the whole journey has been. And it was so emotional with so much fear and I can't describe it properly in words what changed at the end of 2019. Everything changed at the end of 2019. Um, and I just don't know what to say right now. My, my voice is going. No worries, no worries. We have, I have your story <laughs> next to me. So uh, with your permission, Uh, because all stories are confidential. But with your permission, can I ask you a few questions from your story? Absolutely, you? yes. Okay. So you said it took you almost four days to decide whether you should put your entry in or not. Uh, and But 
you said, if my story helps just a single person, it's worth sharing. And that was already a very touching start of your story. We went, okay, you're holding on to your uh, chair. Uh, what's happening next? Uh, you take us back to a time that you got married 15 years ago. Can you share a bit about that? When I got married 15 years ago, I was a little, little girl um, working in a fitness studio. I went into the fitness studio looking down on the floor with a little white and black bag in my hand always the same I had no self-confidence at all nothing I wasn't even able to look people into the eyes when I spoke to them nothing and then I got I, I met my husband and he, he was actually the first reason why I, I took the next step because he said like okay um, trust me in yourself you can do so much more and Basically, I've done the next step, not because of me trusting in myself, just me trusting in him. And that's basically why I know how important a good community is and a good, healthy and strong um, surrounding of yourself because he showed me exactly what you're capable of doing when you do this step, yes. Yeah. So he was uh, believing in you, uh, yeah. but then uh, you also got pregnant. Yes. Yes. And oh gosh. <laughs> you were trying to get pregnant, right? I couldn't get pregnant because of health issues. And that was actually oh gosh. Sorry. That no, was nothing to feel sorry about here. That was the main reason why I because I couldn't get pregnant and I couldn't fulfill this family idea. I then found my family in what I'm doing in my business. I uh, promoted as an area manager, then as a regional manager, and then I was able to do the job as a UK director in Switzerland, Austria, and Germany. And I built up my little family in this area, in this, in this business part. But as I've been so busy, I've never actually noticed what I'm really missing and what I really want to do and what is my passion. and where to go basically and uh, I then after 13 years of my marriage I then got pregnant and it was that was even that was the, the biggest present in that moment that I could have got because every doctor said it's impossible it's not possible for you to have kids so for everybody who's listening <laughs> nothing is impossible that's really important and um, in that moment when I got pregnant I couldn't be happy about this situation because the doctors were saying, yeah, you can lose it and things like that. And in the six months, the doctor told me I'm not allowed to work any longer. And I had to stay at home, just lay it on my back. So from the moment when I was 17, 18, until that moment, I have always been busy. And then I wasn't busy, just laying, and my mind started to work so much. Who am I? What do I want? Is it this the right way that I'm going? I didn't know anything what to do and who I am. The biggest point was who am I? Because to be honest, I didn't know. And when I got Ryan, my, my baby boy, uh, I then had a chat with the authorities here in Switzerland and they really told me, I'm sorry, but you will not get a job like that because now you're a manager second class for the child. This woman told that to me in my face. So all where I felt secure was then gone. With the ups and downs of the pregnancy, with the ups and downs of the time after your birth. With, and then I completely got insecure. I'm too stupid to be a good mother. I'm not capable of handling one child. I've had a big business of over 250 employees. So, and then you're just lost. And um, yeah, and that was where uh, my worst year started. But today it's my biggest, best year after the 10 years challenge or 10 year idea. Because I actually then for the first time thought about what 
do I need? What do I want? What's my passion? What do I want to give my son as a value? And um, and 2019, the beginning, um, I said like, okay, I then can sit end of 2018 where uh, the doctor told me, okay, you will have, I don't know how you say it in English, thyroid, 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 uh, cancer. You will have to wait and look six months. And a friend of mine told me, um, she said like, yeah, but do you know what? In what I've learned, this means you don't speak out things. You have to speak out what's on your mind and things like that. So I started to think about, okay, what do I actually want to say? Because I didn't know for so many years what I wanted to say. And um, so six, year, uh, six months, I didn't know, okay, what will happen? Do I have to do the shimo or not? Will they have to take everything out? And so on. And then at the beginning of 2019, I said, like, okay, I need to change something. And the first thing was I've done like a business coaching. What basically wasn't the business coaching, it was just to have something to do for my mind and myself and to find out which direction I need to go. And then I've seen uh, two people at the summer, summer school. It was, I think I've done the application uh, 15 minutes before it closes. And then I took part of the summer, summer school. And that was the moment where I said like, okay, this is, it is possible to do these things. And I've seen you before, but it was always like that big and it's also impossible and you can't do this. And I wanted to do an online program since over one and a half years, but I never took action. And then finally you see, they are doing it. Yeah, you saw, you saw other people offer courses and you were like, yeah, they're doing it. Yeah. And then on the go, because I informed myself that they are doing these courses also on the go on a Saturday or Sunday, preparing the course for the next week. And I was completely against my professional um, perfectionism. No, is that yeah. the word? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I said, like, you can't do that. Never. You, you have to do this and this and this and the web page and that and that and that. And then they show me, no, you, have, you don't. You don't need anything of that. And I remember I've seen so many things of you. I've heard so many podcasts. I've read so many blogs. I've seen you on Instagram. And I'm like, oh my God, I need this support. I need her, but I couldn't afford it because I've been home unemployed for two years in Switzerland. <laughs> Everybody who lives here knows what that means. Not getting any support because I didn't want to. And I said, I can't, I can't afford it. I can't do it. And then a friend of mine, I wanted to ask her if she wants to do it with me together, uh, together like this. And maybe we could share something of the idea or whatever. And I couldn't reach her. So I just got, gave it a miss and said, I can't afford it anyway. And on the next day I woke up and my husband looked at me and said, like, what's your problem? <laughs> and I'm like, why? What, what are you asking? And he's like, yeah, you are so strange this morning. You're not there. And I, then I said, like, okay, do you know what? I want to tell you something about Sunberg. There's this school thing. <laughs> That's how I try to explain him on, the, on my husband language. Um, and I know it would be the best for me and the best part. And then he said, and go for it that was it i and i said like okay but how how should we pay and then he said like yeah i didn't want to tell you but in two months i get another payment and we can use that money for that but you have to go in advance and i said like okay do you think it's possible he said i think we will have a few struggles but we will find a way and I signed in. And when I received the emails with the, I think it was 10 things. Yeah. Like that, oh, being, do this, and the next step, and that. And I was, I remember I was crying. I was so, it was when I just felt everything fell off. I felt so light. Even I had so many tasks to do, I felt so light for the first time in years. The first time in years. And he, I think one and a half hours later, he looked at me and he said, like, 
you look like a different person to me now. I haven't seen you like this since two and a half or almost three years. And I was so emotional and you don't believe it to so everybody who's listening here, if you want to do it, and you think you don't have the money, find a way and do it. Because you have to find a way for so many things if you want to be an entrepreneur anyway. So start with this right now. And what happened then is I got a call. Uh, is there that for you? I guess. Um, I'm actually looking for a personal trainer. I've heard about you. I said, yeah, sure. Um, I'm a bit busy now, but we can do the strategy call this afternoon if you're spontaneous. Um, I will call you at 1 p.m. I think it was 1 p.m. And she said, oh, yeah, great, let's call. And uh, we had a call. It was lovely. And on the next day, she directly came for a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session, and she signed the 12 weeks coaching program. Directly well, money back right away. I had the money back and a little bit more. And I had never, never thought about this. And this is something about the energy, about the way. I know, I am really 100% sure if she would have called me on that day without this feeling that I had after joining the, the community and Samba, I wouldn't have been able to speak so free, so full of energy to this person that I wouldn't have been inspiring for her. Because afterwards she told me, I signed because you had such a high energy on this phone call. And even her husband said that that was amazing. <laughs> So things change so much if you make a decision. And one thing I understood is that I hadn't trusted my surrounding. And I, to be honest, I didn't make a decision because I was scared about what would happen if I would make the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. But what I had never understood until that point is that that's the worst that you could ever do, not making a decision. So, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh my God, Jason! Oh God, I, get, I didn't get that one. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, you uh, also created a course right away. Yes! yes. <laughs> Tell us about that. I've uh, created a course, it's called From Zero to Fit. And uh, now it's an eight week program, but it has been the four weeks program. Yeah. And everything in my mind said, that's impossible. You will not do it. How should you do it? You have a child. Um, how will you be able to give your child time? How will you be able to have your own time and do all the tasks in a daily mother's life and then create a course? It is impossible. But one thing from that moment that I've done is, shut up your mind read and listen to what you are saying and just do what you are saying and not oh yeah i've listened to this but i could already start with that, that and this and freebie and whatever no listen if she says click through the group the next three days then click yourself through the group <laughs> if she says if you say do a questionnaire. I have all the questions for you. Use this template and don't change it. Just use the, the, the damn template because everything has a reason. So I fully trusted the process. I know this is a sentence that everybody's saying, uh, but it's it's the key. Trust the process. Do it step by step and enjoy every single step that you are doing. And I really enjoyed every step, really. It was like, oh my God, the first time live. <laughs> and now going live is not a problem? No. <laughs> Let us have a dance when we're going live. Yeah. <laughs> so you took your four week Kickstarter course, course and now it's eight weeks. So this is pretty much your signature program already created for 2020. Yeah, I'm start, I'm, I will use it as a signature later, but yeah. now I'm using it as a, a VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching that they have yeah. the one-on-ones with me and the basic with um, 
was the muggles. Yes. yes. So you are a different person. <laughs> I am. I am a happy, fulfilled, full of energy <laughs> person. And I know where I belong. I am where I belong. And this is the biggest, biggest present that you can ever make someone. When you really look into the mirror and you are able to look yourself really into your eyes in your mirror and say, yes, this is where I belong. This is where I'm good at. And I'm proud of myself. I trust myself. I know I'm capable and I'm not able to grow. Yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> we couldn't have picked a better winner for Breakthrough of the Year 2019. We are so happy, touched, crying, uh, so happy for you. Uh, we will send you a confirmation over email, of course, and arrange everything. Your flight to Iceland, your ticket. Uh, we'll think about the logistics later. Uh, but for now, Natalie, I want to say congratulations from the bottom of my heart, from my team, from the community, <laughs> take it in. Uh, I would suggest that you go right away into the Zumba group and allow people to cheer you on and celebrate with you because uh, that's what you deserve right now. So Natalie, congratulations. Thank you so, so much. I keep it clapping in the background. Oh my God. <laughs> In a, you you don't blink in in at six p.m. I've got a next customer. Oh my yes. God! You know what will happen with her in a minute because she's getting her results after her twelve week program, and it's amazing what she achieved. And I'm like, I will be dented outside of this room in a minute, and my son will look at me thinking like, okay, she has a five minutes. <laughs> Fabulous! Thank you. Well, thank that's you so amazing. much. You are very welcome, Natalie. Uh, we really love uh, that you are the winner, and we cannot wait to see you in Iceland. Me too. Me too. This energy, amazing. I'm really looking forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who participated in the breakthrough. And wish Natalie congratulations. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Et voilà, j'ai encore pleuré. Je crois que je n'ai rien à rajouter. Hein. Magnifique, n'est-ce pas <rire> Bonne soirée.